So all four beds are filled and all that's left is to go get my seedlings and to plant them and organize them. So I think in each bed I want to do like on the corners um, some wildflower mix and see so we have that interest that floral contrast with the vegetables um, I've seen that done by other gardeners but you know let me know in the comments below do you mix in flowers with your veggies um, I really love you know any input I am definitely a novice gardener my husband is much more of the farmer gardener and I am just out here having fun. So this is how it looks from afar. Obviously all four um, raised beds is a little quirky and you know what, I like it. I like that they're all imperfect and you know, I just think there's no perfection here, right? This is our garden. Obviously you guys are seeing it, but you know, no one else is, is seeing this except us and it's it's going to serve its purpose its function which is to you know house our plants and house our veggies so yeah i i i really do love it and i think what i'll do just for my own you know type a <laughs> appeasement is going and just kind of wipe down the dirt on the outside as you can see they're all kind of they're all kind of a little dirty on the outside um, and then I have a DIY idea that I would love to do where I'm going to make homemade um, signs for each bed. And um, yeah, I have some scrap wood and we have some posts already. So I'm really excited. I think it will just be really cute and a really great way for me to also remember what the heck is in each one of these beds until obviously they start producing. Over here is going to be my berry patch. So right here, I have two blueberry bushes, which I swear, I thought I had a third, but maybe, maybe the, I don't know, maybe I didn't. <laughs> Hopefully it's, you know, we have had accidents out here in the garden before, myself being the cause where I accidentally mowed over some cantaloupe. So, you know, if by chance I had a plant here and my husband killed it, you know, I, I guess we're even. But right here is a current bush. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing. I mean, my mother gave it to me and I'm grateful because, you know, she looks healthy and I'm glad to have another plant. But what do you do with currants? So send me your ideas. Um, all I know is like currant jelly, but like I've had currant jelly and I don't really love it. So are there other functions, uses for currants? And if there are, please, can you let me know? Now out there, outside of the garden where Mac is standing, I already sprinkled a bunch of wildflower mix. So I'm excited to see what comes up. Who knows? I mean, I raked it in as best as I could. I'm obviously not gonna get out here and water too much, um, but hopefully we'll have something come up and if anything, you know, some grass. Over here on the far side of the garden, my husband planted some corn. So we obviously have a ton of space that we haven't used yet. We haven't really decided what we're going to do. I do know for a fact that we are going to be growing melon, squash, butternut squash. Um, we're gonna be growing green beans on the outside along the fence so they can grow up the fence. So I'm excited about that. And I would love to plant some climbing flowers. Um, I have seen there's some climbing roses out there that are really beautiful that I have thought about. Something just to kind of give this fence some contrast and some interest because it is so transparent and, you know, so that you can really kind of see <laughs> that it's there. So yeah, if you have any ideas for that, please, again, let me know. I'm way open for ideas. Obviously, we're at the very beginning of all this. And so everything's subject to change, um, but we're having so much fun with it. We've been coming out outside every single night working out here, you know, weeding, prepping the soil, working on the fence. It's really becoming such a family affair, which is entirely also what we want from this. We want our kids to be involved. We want them to learn about veggies and plants and to learn about hard work and what goes in to farming and growing your own food. And, um, you know, that you reap what you sow. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do want to add in 
more berries over here. Um, my goal is to get some strawberry plants and really only grow what we eat. So we are big blueberries, big strawberry eaters, um, but I'm not really into raspberries. So I'm not really going to focus on that over here, but I definitely want to grow as many blueberries and strawberries as I can manage in this space. I think it would be such a pretty, um, you know, use of this corner of the garden. Okay, here we go. We have everything planted. I used all four beds. So let me walk you through what we have. So right here in this front bed, we have heirloom tomatoes. So I used all 12 on half. And then over here we have red cherry tomatoes. So I hope I space these okay. I know that they are going to need to um, have a cage. And so I figure you know, having them close together will be good for having them be able to grow up um, the cage. So <laughs> we will work with it. And then if we have to stake anything, we will. But so this bed is all tomatoes. And then I reserved this entire bed for our mixed peppers, our bell peppers. Um, space these a little bit farther apart because I think these are going to get individually um, pretty big. And again, I had envisioned that we'll have to stake these um, and support them once they grow bigger. But yeah, I'm really excited about these. And then this is our sweet banana peppers. So again, these are already looking pretty good. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I gave them adequate spacing and I used up the whole bed for these as well. So this whole bed will be for our banana peppers, which we've never grown banana peppers. I'm really excited. And then here is my experimentation bed. So what I did is I did on this side, I did, um, I mixed in some wildflower mix. So we'll see what takes off. I wanted to see if they grow better here in my raised bed versus out there. There, let me focus. Out there um, where I spread them, we'll see what comes up. Um, just kind of a little experiment. And then I put the rest of our tomatoes. So these are our heirloom. Um, did I say that already? We have two different kinds of heirloom. These are heirloom, let me see. Heirloom Abe tomatoes. So again, I spaced these a little bit closer together, thinking, knowing they're gonna be um, growing up a cage. And yeah, so that's that. It's actually a couple days later. We've made some progress with the garden. I ended up making a couple mistakes with the raised bed. I definitely overplanted <laughs> the raised beds. I also didn't get the set up quite right. My husband and I, here, I'll just turn the camera around and I will show you what we have done so far, some of the progress we've made and show you where I'm at. Okay, so here is the update. It is a couple days later and I made a few mistakes. So as you can see, we mapped out where we are going to be able to have a walkway. This has been crucial since we have 
two little boys. <laughs> so helping them learn where they can walk is key. I overplanted these beds. Um, you guys probably already realized this when you saw me do it. Like I said, I am a novice gardener and I am very much still learning. So in this front bed, I actually, all four beds, I ended up taking out everything that I had planted and redid it all. Basically, I forgot to fertilize for one. And the second thing is that I ended up not really remembering how my husband and I planned to organize each bed. So they were way too crowded, had way too many in there. And so I basically had to take all of them out and start over. So in this bed here, we have, I believe this is six of the mixed bell pepper. Still, I have my half of the garden bed. I planted wildflower seeds. This bed I went in, this is all banana pepper. And so I went in and I spread all of those out to make sure that um, they had proper spacing. This also is banana pepper. So I did seven here, six here. So to give them each about a foot in spacing from each other. And then this is my lettuce bed. And I swear, my husband told me, just do three rows and do you know each different type of lettuce in each row. You guys, I dumped the whole freaking bag of seeds. Like this whole seed bag in this row, that whole bag of seed in this row, and then I did like field mix in this row. So yeah, we're gonna have a freaking chia pet over here and we're just gonna roll with it because you know, lessons learned. I am still learning as you saw from the cover of this video. Um, we are entering our garden era. We have not been in our garden era. And so we'll just, we're just learning here. So if you are a new gardener, you're someone that's trying to work on your green thumb, you're trying to be more sustainable, um, then we can just make mistakes together, learn from each other. Hey, no judgment here. I am with you. I'm over here making mistakes. So heading over here is where I ended up transplanting the rest of everything else that didn't fit in the garden bed. So this row here, I have the remaining of my mixed bell pepper. We have a little bit of a gap here. So I think this is where I'm gonna plant asparagus. Asparagus actually apparently takes a couple years. So that is probably gonna be a good spot for it. You know, it'll just be kind of out of the way and right there. Um, we'll see, we'll see if I put it there. Um, but either way, we have room for something to go there. Here, I have, um, I think the rest of my heirloom abes uh tomatoes and then gosh man what do i have here so let me make sure i'm not going to step on anything <laughs> that we've already had a couple casualties with the kids but let's see okay so yeah heirloom abe in these two rows and then here in the middle heirloom mortage or mortgage You'll have to tell me if you guys know how to pronounce this. Okay. And then, oh, okay, yeah. So and then we have my red cherry. So in these last two rows is the red cherry. So this is gonna be our tomato corner. Oh, I can't get this one back in either. Oh dear. Okay, there we go. So over here is pretty much gonna be all of our tomatoes. Let us pray that they come up. <laughs> Um, another thing that I have learned, I, we probably planted these too soon. I mean, I did hard them off, um, but they are kind of small. So in a little puny, so we've already just kind of, you know, agreed that if they don't survive, we will just replace them <laughs> with some store-bought plants. So again, this is such a learning curve. Like I'm not going to, you know, stress myself out too much because really, what's the point you know and then over here we are going to end up i think i'm gonna do potatoes so we have quite a bit of space before we get to the corn that my husband already planted and that um starts here and then heads over to the fence also along this fence is where i think we are going to do the green beans and then we will find another 
place to do our delicati squash. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's coming along. Obviously a lot of learning curve, but I know that once things start growing, you know, and as we go, we're just gonna learn so much. And I'm really loving this space. I love coming out here. It's been such a good and fun hobby for all of us. The kids are learning a bunch. It's teaching them a lot of discipline and a lot of just patience and myself included. <laughs> enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as we get our garden season started and I hope you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more of the behind the scenes of my gardening journey and you know just what we're doing here on our 10 acre home so my loves I'll see you guys in the next one bye